I'm not married, so I don't have to. But ideally, if you follow the Bible, you should cover up. So it's a the reason that the Bible gives is, to, is because of the angels. So in First Corinthians chapter eleven, um, Paul mentions um, because yeah, in one Corinthians chapter eleven. Yeah. So one Corinthians is one of the letters that Paul wrote. Yes, you're very knowledgeable uh, of the Bible. I just know a little bit. Yeah. I don't know the Bible. I am, by the way, okay. I'm half Christian, half Muslim. You've got five but you can be. You my wife is Christian. Okay. Oh, you're I'm married to Islam. Christian. Uh -huh. Also, I'm nearly half Christian. I disagree okay. with many things in Islam, but these things, the things that I disagree is not in the Bible, not in the Quran. What do you Quran. disagree in Islam? Uh, things that they follow that which not come from the Quran. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I don't follow. You don't follow the hadith. It can't be, it can't be based on his yeah. story. I cannot. I mean, this is, I mean, this is complicated, right? Because hadith, you can't compare hadith. Because most hadith Muslims and follow God the hadith, the right? Most. Yeah, but when you have a hadith which is uh, um, relation with the Quran, then we can have another problem. The microphone it is. <laughs> this is what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So mainly our religion is based on the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, you know, when I see them on videos, they have all this. Uh, <laughs> He's okay. No, they, do you know, know what? These guys are very nice. That's what uh, yeah, with regards yeah. to the, um, the, the head covering, it's mentioned yeah. in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And one of the reasons why okay. Paul gives for the head covering is to do with the angels. Mm -hmm. And the, the angels um, is, a, is a reference, it's taught to Genesis uh, chapter 6, um, where it says that the sons of God uh, saw the daughters of men and find, found them to be attractive. So they came down and mated with them, and that's how giants of odd were made. I mean, I remember reading that in Enoch, which is not a, a canonical, uh, it, I don't remember reading that in Corinthians. It's in Genesis uh, chapter 6, where the angels saw the daughters yeah, of men. Yeah. And to yes. find them. Yeah, so in one it, Corinthians, in yeah, uh, chapter eleven, uh, uh, is, okay, so um, uh, yeah, he's very, he, you should be a Christian. Uh, well, he's a very nice uh, guy. He's a holy Bible. <laughs> well, Muslims right. also believe in Jesus. It's interesting. You read it. It's interesting. Sorry yeah. to change topic. If you no, want to okay. find it, yeah, so um, it's interesting because in the yeah. Quran it tells you repeatedly to follow the scriptures, right? Which scripture? It tells you the uh, previous scripture. Yeah. So, of course. So my question is: So how comes um, Muslim people? I know you do, but how come they don't do it? What scriptures are they talking about? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah. Uh, on Genesis chapter 21 of the Bible, God. Oh yeah. His, sorry, verse 10. It's very important. Yeah. God loved uh, Abraham. Abraham is the father of our religion. Mm -hmm. yeah. He told him, uh, Isaac will be you, the descendant will become from Isaac, and also because Ishmael is his son, I will make from him a great nation. This is the great nation of Islam. This is Muhammad and Islam. This is God's promise. And that's why now we are the biggest two religion in the world. Because well, the way I see it, Muhammad represents Ismail, Ibrahim has two sons. Muhammad represents Ismail, Jesus represents Isaac. Yeah. That's the way I see it, and that's why we are the biggest two religions. Yeah. On 2018, which is 15th from now, in some reason we'll be the biggest religion. I don't think God... 2018? Yeah, in 15th If we're still going to be here, because according to the Bible, right, we are coming to the end of the age, and Jesus Christ is coming soon, and so I don't actually know if we're still going to be here in 50. And, we're not going to be here for and, sure. And probably. also, Islam religion is, is number one in the most expanding religion. You know, yeah. Everyone knows that. Yeah. So do you think God, why would he allow such a religion if it's a bad religion to be bigger and stronger than Christian religion? Yeah. Be, you, you know, competing. Yeah, I mean, I mean it doesn't matter. Paul, if you want to join in. Um, it's interesting because you asked me why, and the, the reason why is because of um, the, the is a judgment on the land. So we are coming at the end of the age. So this is why I think you know that other religions, other beliefs are increasing. However, the kingdom of God will stay the same and will carry on through the ages. Why we do believe in anything? Jesus, and He's the one who's coming back. That mission. Yeah. Before. He's the one who come back, and I yeah. think we as Muslims, when Jesus comes, we will follow. Yeah. Yeah, but so when Jesus comes, he will unite the Jewish people. They are waiting for him as a king, the Christian, of course, and the Muslim. 
When Jesus right. comes, are we allowed to follow him or not? Of, of course, it's mandatory. Yeah. So we yeah. will unite the Ibrahim. That's the way I see it. Um, so yeah, do you want to go back to that verse? I, I about don't mind. The, uh, I don't mind. I um, I just wanted to say that I have to disagree respectfully um, because you you do not recognize Jesus as Lord. Son of God. Does the Jehovah's Witness recognize Jesus? No, and the son of God. And, no, and that's why they're in error as well. We the, you think in error, but I'm saying uh, we call him Jesus is God's word. Jesus is what? Sorry, God's word. The word, oh, word God, the word of God. The word of God. Yeah. Yeah. God word. Because of his this miraculous, we believe in the virgin birth. So Jesus was created by God's command B and he came into existence. Right, Jesus was like created, Adam. Jesus was born. There is a difference, right? Jesus came into the world, right? But he wasn't created. So Jesus exists, Jesus is eternally existing with the Father. But you know, in the New King James Bible, it did say in Revelation chapter 3, verse 14, that Christ is the beginning of God's creation. So he he was created or he's of creation and he's the beginning. So God creation initiated or began with Christ. So the Bible says that God created all so Jesus. Jesus created all things. So he's, he's at the beginning of creation, but all things were there's created no, through there's, him. Yeah, there's no verse that says that Jesus created all things. But what, what the Bible was created through him, through him, but yeah. rather than yeah, it's him being. Yeah, Trinity at work. So we can see the Trinity at work in the first three verses of the Bible of the Book of Genesis. You can clearly see. It. I'm gonna get it up for you because I only have the New Testament. Religion will take you to hell. Um, it's it's called, called, uh, uh, he was born, but he was born. His son maybe was born before. So if you look at Genesis chapter 1, there's only one personality and that is God. Whereas the spirit doesn't have a personality and also um, when God speaks, you know, his words so do not have a personality. It's just God says, let there be and there was. I mean, the way we recognize, so if we go back to, um, if we, so if we go back to Genesis uh, chapter 1 from verses 1 to 3, you see the Trinity at work and I'll explain why. Okay. I'll read it very quickly. So the verse 1 it says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. So you could say that that's the Father. Verse 2, the earth was without form and void and the darkness was over the face of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. That's the, that's the Holy Spirit. And verse 3, and God said, let there be light and there was light and that's Jesus Christ. But the so, of the Spirit and the um, that God said there's no personality attached to them so like the spirit is like the breath of God or the wind of God but it's not a person a natural person like someone you can have a conversation with or the when God says let there be light so the word of God there is not a person or someone you can have a, a dialogue but it, it's a it's a thing or it's a, an expression no, we don't we don't recognize it we recognize it as three persons of the same God um, so I, I have to say if you were the manager of a company and you said let there be um, coffee and um, cakes and creams and biscuits so obviously when you speak um, your words um, they're not like something that has a personality but they're like you're, you're, you're the boss and you, you're telling your workers you know like what to do and what to get and etc but, but where Jesus himself is a person is a personality but it, you know what's interesting is you know in Hebrews the letter of Hebrews it actually says um, that previously God spoke to us through the mouth of his prophet yeah, the, but the in his spirit, last the day spirit, the Holy yeah. Spirit and the, the prophets yeah. the Hebrews seem to deny any pre-existence of Jesus mm -hmm. because Hebrews says that previously God spoke to us through the lips of his prophet but in these last days he's now chosen to speak to us through his son so no, Jesus, the, son Jesus uh, the, the Bible I think it's Hebrews I'm gonna uh, get it up one second um, there is one minute please right. so if we go in Acts for example let me get it up kissing a black stone that is idolatry so that is paganism right in, in the book of Acts 
it talks about in verse 3, it says, um, you, uh, from verse 14, you disown the holy and righteous one and ask what, what a, that a murderer be released to you. You kill the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. So Jesus Christ is recognized as the author of life. Now you see the Trinity at work as well when Jesus says that I, uh, if you uh, destroy the temple, I will raise it up in three days. The Holy Spirit uh, is also written that the Holy Spirit will raise God, uh, will raise God, and uh, the Father will raise God. So you have all three persons and also God Himself raising Jesus Christ from the dead. And Jesus says that He also willingly put Himself on the cross. So this is a misunderstanding where. Um, you know, Muslims say, oh, how can he be God when he was um, so weak, you know, that he died on the cross? But actually, Jesus Christ willingly put himself on the cross. Well, I mean, the author of life there can be in reference to Jesus brings about salvation, so Jesus gives life. So in that sense... So do you agree that Jesus gives life? Do you agree that the Bible says that Jesus gives life? Yeah, eternal life. Eternal life. So yeah. how can a human being give eternal life? So, so the, the message that he brings is eternal life. So anyone who believes in Jesus and follows him will have eternal life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that's that's that true. That's true. But, but uh, if you believe in Him, but then it's Him who gives you eternal life. It is Jesus who forgives. Now, a man cannot um, give eternal life. It can only be God that forgives your sins. It can only be God that gives you new spirit, new blood. It can only be done through uh, a divine intervention. Do you pray the Lord's prayer? I do pray. So. so is that we pray to the Father in heaven, exactly. we pray in the name of Jesus by the power Jesus of the Holy Spirit. So, um, it's but you're still the praying to the Father, we, I pray and you're to saying, the Father, Father, forgive in us our sins. Jesus. So, in, in the name Jesus. of Jesus. And the reason for that is because the Father is holy, and so is Jesus. But the only way to even approach the Father is through the person of Jesus Christ, because the the some part of the Trinity, He is the one that reconciles us to the Father. Do you remember when Jesus was on the cross in the Gospel of Luke? Yeah. Um, and He says, "Father, forgive them, for they do not know." Yeah. So if Jesus can forgive sins, He would have said, "I, Jesus, forgive you, for you do not know what you're doing." But instead, He prays to the Father. So Jesus, in His humanity, He prays to the Father, and He He He's the intercessor. He intercedes for us. So He asks the Father. So that's why we do pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. So you know, Jesus is the, is the one to see for us. Nowhere yeah. in the Bible does Jesus say, I forgive your sin. He does say that. Uh, I mean, if um, you know. He, yes, let me get it up. So I was actually reading this verse with Osman. Oh, okay. So I'll, I will read it again. Don't um, if you go to like Matthew chapter 9 verse 8 Matthew chapter 9 Matthew verse 8, 8. Yeah. Why specifically you want to um, go There it says people praise God For giving such authority unto men uh, Meaning Jesus didn't forgive sins But he had the authority To say to the man Your sins are forgiven Yeah but he does yeah, yeah, Yes he says All authority has been given to me Um so yes, he has the authority, but it's a divine authority, like he... Yeah, so yeah. it's given to him, by, by yeah. it's divine authority because yeah. it's given to him Do you by know, God. I can't actually stay too long in here, because... No, 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 that's okay. Um, I, did did sorry, you want to I, say... I wanted to say one last yeah. bit, right? So, okay. um... About from, from, the from the Bible, right? So I'm so I'm, I'm actually really love talking <laughs> to you. You're very kind. You. You're a very nice guy, and I'm I, I appreciate it because I, this I, is how I'll give you the last say because I have to also go as well. So thank yeah, you. No, do you know what? I want to say on the camera that this is how um, a Christian and Muslim dialogue should be. It should be I respectful, yeah. and uh, it should be based on facts. And you know, we cannot go beyond what we know either. Like I'm not a theologian, I'm not a teacher, yeah, me too, yeah. but I can say that hundreds of millions of people have experienced something called being born again it's something that goes beyond knowing the bible um, knowing the scripture it's, it's a spiritual rebirth and it's a real thing many people you can look on youtube many people have found christ and it's, it's a real supernatural experience um but could, thank could i maybe leave you too I, I just have to do my prayers 
Um, okay, can but, I read the last but, verse to the and, uh, camera? I'll watch the video and uh, you don't have you a minute say, for so. me to read. Two uh, yeah, minutes. okay. Then, I'll read, so, um, okay. I just want to read yeah. one last bit. Um, so thank you so much, right? Um, sorry, I'll find it now. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna be on YouTube. Yes, and you are as well. So, it's a respectful so in conversation. Jesus, uh, so in John 6, right, from verse um, 35, Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you've seen me and still do not believe. All those, you know, so he's talking about how he is the bread of life, and I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Um, but in here it says at the end, verse 40, For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in Him should have eternal life, and I will raise them up the last day. So the Bible is very clear that Jesus Christ is the one who forgives sins, is the one who gives eternal life. Now, is everybody's choice whether to believe that or not, but that's the whole teaching of the Bible, that's the Gospel. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank we'll you so speak much. again, yeah? Yeah, God we'll bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I have to pray after. So. Uh, this one is uh, yeah, so, yeah. Put them. Uh, this one. We're gonna be on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. yeah.